Absolutely. You know, uh, it's the biggest fight in, in world boxing. You know, it's, it's the fight that, you know, makes me so excited to be a part of the game. You know, uh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm the best best welterweight on the planet. You know, nobody, nobody seems to want to fight me. You know, and and Triple G, the same at middleweight. You know, so I think it's the best fight and the best. You know, um, look at me today. You know, when we when we stand next to each other, there's not to be nothing. You know, in size. You know, I'm gonna bring the speed up to to the middleweight division, and we're already getting big numbers from the power. So I'm gonna bring in, you know, big power as well. You know, so it's. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready for this fight. This is this is what I've, this is what I want to do in the game. You know, be the best. You've got to beat. You've got to beat the best. So it don't get any bigger than than Triple G. You know, for me. You know, this fear factor in this. I'm gonna be so sharp, so so alive for that night, September 10th. You know, I wanna I wanna see. Nobody's ever got the best out of me in all my opponents I've been in with. You know, I wanna test myself to the to the eyes you can be. You know, in this sport, and I know. 10th of September, I know that we're going to see the best in me. And I'm excited myself, you know, to, to see what I can do because, you know, we know what we can do in, in the gym, you know. I always seem to do enough. I always find a way to win, you know, and it's, you know, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be the same September 10th, you know, it's going to be massive drama in the fight, you know, and, and the fans, you know, they, you don't get any bigger than this, you know, it's sell out like lightning, you know, and, uh, that that's what warms my heart, you know, that I'm giving back to the fans. You know, this is the biggest fight in world boxing. You know, I've stepped up there, I've shocked the world, you know, in this fight and I'm gonna shock everyone, you know, uh, September tenth. It's like, you know, and people going on about weights, you know, Mike Tyson weren't the biggest heavyweight, he was fighting guys free free four stone, heavier. And uh, you know, we're an animal, you know, and you're gonna see the best in me. I'm a natural weight at one sixty and watch me perform September tenth. Thank you. How excited are you to show that power? I was speaking to, I think, Dave Coldwell at the weekend who said when he sees you spar at 11-6 and that kind of weight, you're one of the hardest punches that he's seen. And I think a lot of people not realising how strong and powerful you are going to be at that weight. Absolutely. It's, you know, I'm very healthy at that well, uh, weight, very well hydrated, eating, eating very well. That's, that's, so I'm, I'm getting pushed in the gym. You know, I'm, I'm training like a wild horse. You know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm training so hard. And just feeling, you know, the sun, sun beating down on me, pl drinking plenty of water, eating, eating. You know, the food out there is beautiful, and you know, I'm I'm pushing myself every day in the gym, you know, because I, I you know, I want to go down like my hero, Sugar Ray Robinson, and, and them kind of fighters down in Istra. You know, they've they've done massive things, and you know, in in, in the modern day now, this, that's exactly what I want to do: be involved in top fights and and beat and beat the best fighters and. You know, and, and Triple G is definitely, you know, the, the top fighter out there today. Wonderful for me. Um, I meet him very often, nice sized meals, and I'm feeling a lot of energy, you know, when I'm, when I'm approaching each, each training session. You know, I'm be able to give, you know, my coach a lot of, a lot of me, you know, 110%, you know, because I'm not, I'm not minimizing my meals to make 147, you know, so I'm giving, I'm giving the team a lot, a lot of energy from myself. Thank you, Eddie. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm very excited. I'm very happy to be here in London. You know, first of all, thanks Sky TV, HBO, and of course promotions. Thank you, gentlemen. So right now, I I can bring, I can give true fans, UK fans, amazing events. I believe, I believe this biggest fight for us because I see Kel he. I respect him. I respect his team. He's very, he had very, very good, very strong team. And I understand this is not easy. This is true. It's very serious business for us. And he said he ready to me. I ready to him. I'm ready 100% September 10th. I believe I bring amazing show, like big, big events, like a drama show. Please don't lose. September 10th. Thank you. Thank you, Gennady. And, and just finally, um, many of us feel, and, and the, the, the fans feel, this is the, the toughest fight and test of your career so far. Absolutely. I think this is biggest test for me because Kel, he's true champion. Right now, he is coming to 160 to middleweight division, you know, stay in middleweight division. I understand. I remember history. I remember a couple of fights in history, like not long time ago. 
make like Sugar Ray Robinson, Sugar Ray Leonard. So I remember many Pacquiao fight with uh, uh, with Margarita, with De La Hoya. This oh, everybody has problem because different speed, different different timing, different power. You know, I understand it's not easy. It's true. This this biggest test for me, absolutely. No, I'm not scared. No, I understand this is business. I understand my situation. I understand my position. <coughs> it's business. I respect sport. I respect boxing. You know, thanks to promotions. This is the gentleman's bring, you know, present to UK. And I'm ready. I'm ready to boxing, to business. I'm not sure about all this jet setting lifestyle, you know, back and forward with America and then training camp and bike, you know, it's. Uh, <coughs> It's all new to, new to us at the minute, but yeah, we've had a great camp so far in a, a little place in Fort Aventura called Coletta de Fust. You know, it's out of the way, there's no disturbances, Kill can get down to the hard work. Um, he's put in some good hours already. You've got another six weeks to go, everything's on track. Hopefully next week we're going to start sparring, we've got a few sparring partners in mind. And uh, all I can see is that, you know, Kel Brook is going to get into the ring on the 10th of September in the best shape of his life. And he's going to have to be in the best shape of his life because he's fighting Triple G, and it's going to be a tremendous fight. Kel's going to give everything he can give, and he's going to come out there on top. You know, we've looked at Golovkin a couple of fights. Uh, we've got a plan in mind, and it's a case of, you know, implementing that plan on the night, and hopefully, you know, Kel Brook, you know, he's always said he's going to make history, and so far he's been doing that. He went to America, beat Sean Porter, and we're confident on the 10th of September that... You know, it's a big ass people who, you know, are going to say that's not possible. But Kel Brook is going to become the new middleweight champion of the world. Talking about Dom, obviously the step up, we've always felt Kel Brook has so many more levels. Even in the Sean Porter fight, it was a performance that we felt was 60, 70 percent of what Kel Brook can give. A chance here to obviously do it against one of the most feared men on the planet, but to show those other levels that we all feel and know Kel Brook has? This is the type of fight that you've, you've got to go up the gears. You can't keep at one pace. You know, Golovkin's a very, very clever fighter. And, you know, Kel's going to have to match him for everything. He's going to have to be ring craft, power, you know, boxing skill. He's going to have to use his brain in this fight. Um, you know, and Kel's got that in, in the tank. And it, it's the fear, you know, the fear of a fight, what makes you perform the best. And, you know, you go into a fight uh, with fear, going to get the best performance and that's where it's going to be with Kel. Kel's got to be mindful of what's coming at him and uh, we've, we've addressed all the issues, all the scenarios, what are going to happen and uh, you know he's going to pull it together on the night. Yeah, about four years ago uh, to the day we we're sitting on a stage like this with Kel as an opponent. Of course it was probably uh, not even half as many cameras. We have uh, a lot of cameras today and um, you have done a great job with your partners in building up uh, the championship level boxing here in the UK, uh, along with the great coaches, uh, Ingles leading the pack. Uh, we lost that day, or I lost that day against Kel. Uh, I know that he's improved a lot. He was a green kid back then, four years ago. So we're looking forward to a hard fight. Uh, we're looking forward to fighting the best welterweight in the world. And hopefully um, it could be the kind of fight that the fans expect uh, by it selling out in 11 minutes, I imagine that they think it's going to be that kind of fight. So hopefully uh, uh, the buys are just as uh, good as this, the ticket sells and we put on the kind of fight that you all want to see. What is it about Gennady as a fighter that makes him stand out from the rest? We know about his power and uh, obviously his commitment in the gym as well, but tell us a little about Gennady as, as a person and a fighter that makes him the best number one pound for pound fighter in the world? I think that these guys at this level, as, as Kel is, they're very cerebral, they're very intelligent inside the ring. And um, that's what makes for a great fight. It's a chess game at the beginning, but when the fight gets started, uh, as uh, Dom just said, that fear will become aggression, will become uh, intelligence, will become that, uh, that motivation factor that uh, makes them want to win and makes them want to excel. Uh, so for G Gennady, and I think for all great ones, uh, as Kel and Andre and Floyd, it's, it's the intelligence that they, they possess and that they take into the ring with them.